we would like to give a huge shout out for the generous donation received by Covenant House to provide much needed rental and utility assistance to our HIV and AIDS program, as well as providing a massive upgrade to our technology that allows us to provide those services. So on behalf of Covenant House staff and our program participants, we thank you. Hi, this is Jared Davis with Camp Appalachia. Uh, we serve West Virginia's vulnerable kids and the populations that include kids in foster care, kids who have experienced a parent overdosing, or kids who have a parent in jail. It's because of the help of you um, that we have been able to operate for the past three years. You'll notice here that our lights work. Our lights work because of funding you gave us two years ago that helped us get our cabins back up and operational. You'll notice this beautiful fire alarm system behind me. But because of you and your help and assistance, we've been able to serve over uh, 1,200 kids this summer in an overnight capacity without the support of you um, as the donor that has given us uh, this emergency aid grant for the past three years. We would not be operational and able to serve our kids. So thank you so much. We look forward to work with you in the future. Thank you for all that you do for us. Here at Capitol High School, we have several programs that participate, practice, and games off campus, and we have several programs that participate further away from the school. On behalf of the administration and myself, we want to thank you guys for providing us AEDs for all these sports. But not only I want to say thank you, but some others want to say thank you as well. I'm a senior here at Capitol High School. Um, I run cross country and I am the student body vice president. And I just want to say thank you to the Greater Canal Valley Foundation for providing the AED units for us to use. Although we hope we would never have to use them, it's comforting to know that they're available to us. I'm Madison LeMaster. I go to Capitol High School. I'm a freshman this year and I play soccer and softball. And I want to thank the Greater Canal Valley Foundation for this awesome new safety feature. My name is Amy Grail and I'm the head coach for the softball team here. And I would like to go ahead and thank the Greater Canal Valley Foundation for the portable AEDs. Hello everyone, my name is Shayla Leftridge. I am the Director of Community Outreach, Diversity, Equity and Inclusion for West Virginia Health Right. And I want to introduce you to our West Virginia Health Right Westside Clinic. This clinic save someone's life on the second day it was open. And we now have an inclusive, diverse staff with real, great quality health care. It's walkable, it's on the bus route. We are currently under construction for the rest of the building for our outreach hub, which will include things like a teaching kitchen, a gym, a workout facility, classrooms, all kinds of really great outreach opportunities. We're also expanding behavioral health over here which is a great need. And we are partnering with lots of other organizations in our community. Bishop Haley, what does the West Side Health Right Clinic mean to this community? Well, basically it brings security to the community as far as place they can go to find and get the health care that they need. So we are so, so, so grateful for all the help that we've received. We could not have done this without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Cheryl Laws and I'm the founder and CEO of Pollinate. We are a nonprofit organization that works with women throughout every stage of recovery. Our goal is to package this up so we can spread it first, pollinate it first across West Virginia and then throughout the United States so we can break the cycle of addiction. But this isn't just about repairing a roof or utilities. What this money really helped us do is it's going to help us bring 60 women in a year and change their lives. How you doing? This is Michael Farmer with Step by Step West Virginia. We just wanted to give a huge thank you to the Greater Canal Valley for the opportunity for us to have the funding for our Inroads Jobs Program. We're really excited to have this program return back to Charleston and it gives our teens an opportunity to learn about career exploration and to also give them internships. We're thankful that we've had the opportunity to do our jobs program over the last couple of months, and this will be a great addition as we continue it. So we just want to tell you guys, thank you so much, and we appreciate this opportunity. Hi, I'm Major Jane May with the Salvation Army in Charleston, West Virginia. We're here today to say thank you to the Greater Kanawha Valley Foundation for all your generous support this year. This year, we've been able to provide over 500 individuals each month with a food box or their electric help, 
afford to be able to stay in their homes while paying their rent or their mortgages. We're also able to provide club care for these kids after school every day and wonderful activities through the summer. We're really grateful for the gift that you have given us and you provide so much for this community so that we're able to make a better future for guys like these. Boys and girls, what do we say? Thank you! I think the biggest thing for other families and the biggest thing for me is I felt isolated. I didn't have anybody to help me. And it was the frustration in finding the right specialist that could diagnose what I needed to have. And that's really hard when you don't have support in your communities to be able to uplift you, to help you, to guide you. And that's what we want to be able to do. Whether you want help with you know, going to a counselor, if you need help in school, if you're worried about your child's transition back to school, I'm there to connect the patients. So Brett has created this huge network of people, whether it's in our state and outside of our state, that can help with all of these issues. And I'm just the person that kind of pieces all the puzzles together. Because we are a local West Virginia nonprofit, all of the money goes to our families. On behalf of our patients, I would like to thank the Pinal Valley Foundation for enabling our patients to obtain dental care that is part of their cancer treatment. Many of our patients require dental procedures prior to starting chemotherapy. In addition, many of those patients lack any dental insurance coverage, nor can they afford even sliding scale rates. Thanks to the Canal Valley Foundation, these patients have received the dental care needed to continue their fight against cancer. I'm Lainey Bowdy Vieso. I'm from Braxton County, West Virginia. I've been at Recovery Point since January 28th, 2021. I've been addicted to drugs for eight years. I just wanna say that Recovery Point has gave me back my life and my personality and just who I am. I'm a better mom, a better friend, and a better sister today. I just wanna say thank you for putting a roof over our girls' heads and for the girls that are gonna come in after me. So, thank you. My name is Doris. I come to receive dental care. I did not have insurance. I was able to get a grant to help me to afford my new dentures and my new partial. It's been very hard for me to eat. And um, I really appreciate these guys taking their time and offering us a grant. It took a burden off my shoulders. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chelsea with the West Virginia chapter of the National Hemophilia Foundation. For a person with a bleeding disorder, going to the dentist can be really scary because procedures can lead to uncontrolled bleeding. And it can also be worrisome for the dentist themselves if they don't have experience working with these patients. So we're working to bridge that gap by creating a network of highly trained providers throughout the state. We've also created literature for providers and patients and now we're working with the Charleston Area Medical Center's hemophilia treatment staff to identify patients in need and connect them with dentists who are strong advocates for our program. On behalf of the chapter and all families that are affected with bleeding disorders, thank you for believing in this program. It's really amazing the work that we're able to do. So thank you.